Yo, we back with another reaction, man. Hit that like, subscribe button, man. You don't want to miss none of these reactions. We dropping like five, six videos a day, man, on your favorite topics. Yo, we back with another reaction, man. It's your boy, Boss Kale Music, man. We got a Meek Mill, Young Miami, Rondo Number 9, and Antonio Brown, man. We going to start this off speaking on Meek Mill, man. Meek Mill been going so viral, man. You know, it started off with the Diddy um, allegations and, you know, him and academics and, you know, um, him and Quilly from his hood, from Philly, from the, not from his hood, from his, you know, his city and a few more other people. Um, you know, Meek Mill, he, he one of the guys that's at the top of the rap game. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people look up to him. You know, a lot of people wanted to be him. You know, he has set a great example for himself. But a lot of people saying that, you know, he um, tearing his legacy down. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people saying that um, they looking at him a different way. You know what I'm saying? They saying that um, the way that he acting and the things that's coming out and the way that he's speaking, how he's speaking on things and, you know, the words he choosing to say. You know, they looking at him a little funny, man. You know, they looking at Meek a little funny. And Meek been going viral, you know. All the big blogs that been speaking on Meek, anything they say been going over viral. Um, he was just recently at the WrestleMania with The Rock. And, you know, people is, you know, a lot of people making fun of how he had told The Rock to get up. You know, and I guess he was trying to be funny. You know what I'm saying? It was some females saying, get up next to him. And they were saying, like, you know, get up, get up. So Meek decided to do a video. And he made, like, a little, you know, like a little, like, said in, like, a girl way, like a little feminine way, like, get up. And everybody making fun of him. And he turned their heart, you know what I'm saying? And they said, see, this will make everything true right here. Um, have y'all seen the clip? And what y'all think about that, man? I think Meek could have chosen this the way to say that a little better. But I also think he was trolling. I think he's starting to figure the internet out. And I think he was trolling. I don't think he knew it was going to catch like it caught. But I know he thought it was going to do a little something. Because he said, you know, he's with his family and friends. And he was just, you know, trying to be funny. You know what I'm saying? He said he was trying to be funny. Let me know what y'all think about that, man. We're going to speak on Young Miami, man. Man, she been getting served. With all type of uh, people been chasing clout, you know what I'm saying? She been getting served with the clout tickets on the internet, you know what I'm saying? Um, somebody just pulled up to her show, a pool party, and they served her some court papers over some, um, I don't know if it, it was over some merch or something else, but they said it was some clothes, you know. Her and involved in some clothes. And she spoke out and said, you know, she said she upset. She said everybody trying to go viral off her and she had enough of it. You know what I'm saying? She's saying that, you know, everybody just want to try to get a few dollars. Everybody just coming out to her for clicks. And she ain't really feeling that, you know? Yeah, she said she ain't really feeling that, man. Do y'all think people wrong? for coming at Young Miami just because she was dating Diddy. Do y'all think people should, like, leave her alone, let her do her? And just, you know, she was just a little chick that was dating somebody that was, you know, allegedly doing wrong things, you know what I'm saying? She came in on the end of it. But, you know, the Internet, they pick their people who they going to troll, you know what I'm saying? So they definitely be trolling her. Somebody sell her some papers for some merch that she don't even be selling. So, you know... It's gonna be that. It's gonna be all type of people on the internet that's gonna be coming out to all type of things that, you know, involves her and Diddy, man. Um, we gonna speak on Rondo number nine, man. Rondo number nine, Chicago rapper, man. You know he been locked up for probably about 10, 10 11, 12 years right now, man. Uh, he updated new mugshot. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people keep saying Rondo gonna come home when he fifty six years old. You know, um, Lil Durk affiliate, OTF affiliate, man. You know, uh, 
I seen a lot of um, people reacting. You know what I'm saying? Saying different things. Um, he'll be home soon. And, you know, uh, Dirk should pay to get him home. And, you know, they want Rondo. They still want Rondo home, man. Let me know what y'all think about Rondo number nine. Do y'all think Rondo number nine going to get out before he 50 some? Or do y'all feel like Dirk going to figure out a way to get him out? Let me know what y'all think about Rondo number nine. Update new photos. You know what I'm saying? Um, the drill coach is definitely speaking on him right now. You know what I'm saying? They reacted to his photos, new photos, up, things like that. Let me know what y'all think about it, man. Tony O'Brown, man, came at Meek Mill, man. He said Meek Mill moved a little zesty, man. Meek said, man, he going to go all in on Tony O'Brown. And Meek said, you know, he going to put him out here for texting his little cousin or something. Meek was saying, like, he was texting my little cousin or something. So... Him and Meek got something going on. Meek ready to crash on Antonio Brown, man. Meek said he was showing him love when he was going through his little stuff with the NBA. But now he want to make jokes and, you know, make fun of Meek. And Meek ain't feeling that, man. What y'all think about Meek saying that he going to crash on Antonio Brown, man? Do y'all think Meek wrong for that? Or y'all feel like Antonio Brown wrong? He should leave Meek alone. Let me know, man. Hit that like, subscribe button. Drop some in the comments. Talk to me. Listen, right now, right Right now, on my page live, right, I'm helping the next five people that download the Sleeper app, right, create an account, inbox me on Instagram with the basketball emoji, deposit match up to 500, meaning you're going to get some free money. You sign up, put 25 in your account, we're going to give you an extra 25 to come play with us, right, to come play with us on the Sleeper app. And we're going to give you 30 days VIP where you could get free picks and make free money, right? Um, this is not going to last long. Make sure you take advantage, right? Make sure y'all take advantage. Uh, download the Sleeper app. Inbox me on Instagram, Boss KO Music. Use deposit code Boss KO Music when you deposit. Send me a screenshot, right? We're going to double your deposit automatically when you use my code, man. Let's run it up. Let's run it up. Listen, another one, only on a Payday Fantasy app. Download it, right? Go to my Instagram. Use my link in my bio, Payday Fantasy app. I'm going to show you how to cash out, right? I'm going to show you how to cash out, and it's hard to lose. It's hard to lose, right? Even if we lose once or twice, we still make money. Listen, there's no way we can lose with this, what I'm giving y'all. Tap in with me. Go to my Instagram. Boss KO Music, click the link in my bio, click the Fantasy app for Payday, sign up, click the Sleeper app, sign up, but right here is the Payday Fantasy app, right? We going up, it's hard to lose on here, right? We going up, I need y'all to tap in with me, I'm going to show y'all how to get this money, man, follow me on Instagram, see the results I've been getting, you know, come tap in with me, man, but it's hard to lose on the Payday Fantasy app. Tap in with me on the Payday Fantasy app, man. We going up.